and welcome to a video about saving money. Bit of a strange one for me to be honest, but it's something that I've wanted to share with everybody for ages. I tell my friends about these little tips and I've always thought I need to make a video and tell people these little tips that they might not have even thought about um, as ways to just help you save money. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kat, I'm 30 years old and I try to upload videos once a week. This video is kind of something for myself to come back onto and say, Kat, listen to your own advice. I'm just going to get stuck into these little tips that should help you, yeah, just save money in day-to-day -day life and generally around the home. Tip number one, look at who your energy supplier is. I used to be on a different energy supplier for my gas and a different energy supplier for my electric. This was about about five years or so ago and I used to play, pay quarterly so it was actually very very expensive and I never really realised it wasn't really something I'd looked at before and paid attention to and then suddenly I discovered this guy called Martin Lewis um, I think I just saw him on he was on this morning or something and he's basically the money saving expert if you haven't heard of him go to his site, subscribe to his newsletters because they come weekly I think and there's loads of little tips about deals and offers that are going on on different websites. Just, just It's all about not encouraging you to spend if you, if you don't, on things that you don't need to, but just telling you about those little things that if you are looking to buy a certain product, here's a website where you can get a discount. Um, and then just little tips and trip, um, tips tips and tricks about car insurance and home insurance and mortgages and saving accounts and all those kind of things so if you're if you're kind of new to that kind of stuff and you really don't look in detail at those kind of things he makes it really really simple and that's what I love about the site so get yourself on over there and subscribe to his emails because they are very very helpful so the first thing you need to look at with your energy is go to these comparison sites or go straight to the Martin Lewis website. There's an energy saving club email you can also sign up to. Get hold of your bills and there should be estimates on there to your usage, how much electricity you use and how much gas you use per year. And there will be um, the standing charge of how much, because electricity and gas, that you both get, both of them get a standing charge that you pay per day like 16p per day for example and then there's also the unit usage so that's how much you actually use and these two things you, you need to pay attention to because energy companies are always changing and they're always going up at the moment but um, you need to keep switching your energy supplier to make sure you're following the cheapest rate it's so simple though it sounds like oh my god that's a lot of hassle it really isn't a lot of hassle I have I changed mine last September time I think and energy prices have risen since but I'm actually in a fixed deal for a year until next September um, and I've checked on the Martin Lewis Energy Club and you type in your details, you type what rates you want at the moment and at the moment I'm on the best one possible so obviously great because I'm fixed with that one for until September. Then I'll go on to there and to be honest they'll probably email me prior to that anyway or when I'm out with that fixed term I'll get an email to tell me and anyway if, if a better deal does come up that energy club will send you an email and it'll tell you you're not on the cheapest rate get yourself to this website change it it's so easy though honestly it just takes a few clicks and it changes for you and it's so simple just honestly I couldn't explain how simple it is to do it sounds really scary but it's so easy and it just swaps over it's really simple all I can say is so simple, just do it, honestly. The amount of money you can save. I literally saved myself about £300 straight away for the year on gas and energy, gas and electric. So I use the same company for both and do it direct debit now. So it works out how much roughly you use per year and it just splits it up into a monthly payment. So I just pay a monthly payment towards my gas and electric. Each month it just comes out of my bank account. I don't really have to think about it. In the summer months, obviously you use less gas, less heating, it will, you might be paying too much per month but then that will give you credit in your account so that when the winter comes it will take from that a little bit if you need to pay more than your monthly payments. Anyway, it works all out for you so don't worry, it's really clever and you don't have to worry about it too much but just get yourself switched onto the best cheapest rates and just reevaluate each year because it really makes a massive difference such an easy way to save money money that you don't even realize is like 
going out of your account and you don't need to be paying that much. Next up, um, I found recently, I literally, I think I discovered this through the Martin Lewis website. This video should be sponsored by Martin Lewis. He included in one of his weekly emails about how water companies are giving away free, free things to help save water in your home. So I clicked through onto it and it'll come up with um, your water supplier's website and you just sign up to it and different areas are given out different free things. Now I'm on a water meter, they're sending me about £20 worth of things, they're sending me something, I don't even know what all the products are to be honest, they're sending me something and the only thing I can remember is, is something that goes in the top of your, in the cistern bit of your toilet which helps which reduces the amount of water that goes into that tank bit so it reduces the amount of water it uses on each flush so think about how many times you flush like that's just water just being used and if you have less in there and you don't really need that much it's just a waste of waste of water so it really helps for that to go in there I think so I've not received it yet but hopefully I literally only ordered it the other day but they're free free things um so yeah I definitely advise click through to that. I'm going to leave all the links to things below in the bottom um, in the description so that you can just click them and access them really easily. Another little bit of simple advice um, would be to shop at Aldi or Lidl or these kind of cheap supermarkets. I don't know what area you're from but the cheaper supermarkets that aren't Tesco, Asda, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, if you go to the cheaper ones like Aldi and Lidl which are the ones we have in our area it saves you so much money. We do our weekly shops at Aldi all the time and the amount we spend there in comparison to how much we'd spend in Tesco is ridiculous. We save so much money. Occasionally we'll we'll get like a bottle of milk from Tesco. We'll pop in occasionally and sometimes it's nice to look at the the different things because you do get in a little bit of a I mean you can do you do this anywhere even if you shop at Asda or anywhere I suppose you get into like a little bit of a rut of buying the same things for dinners and stuff and obviously Aldi isn't as big there isn't as much choice as Tesco and Asda but the actual foods they do have the quality is brilliant so it's just yeah give it a go if you haven't tried it other good shops to buy things from like your toiletries and things B&M and home bargains and all of the pound shops because it's pointless buying them from Asda and Tesco because yes they've got some things on offer but the difference in prices all these little things just add up and if you can just go and do your like toiletry shop at B&M or Home Bargains you save so much money it's just ridiculous the difference in prices sometimes just think of all those little things that you buy in your shopping like milk and things that are just like a few pennies cheaper in Aldi when you buy like a £50 shop the amount you can get in Aldi is so much more so if you don't already shop at those kind of shops, just go to them. It just will make such a difference if you just want to save those pennies. And it's just sometimes we think that we can't save money. We think that we're, we're, we're doing the best we can by not spending so much and all these things. And we're not thinking about these big things that would make a massive difference if we actually made a little bit of effort to, to change them and paid attention to it you know, on the fact that we're actually spending money that we don't need to be spending. Next tip is back to the Martin Lewis website once more. It's the way I discovered this. Or oh, was that my friend Claire? My friend Claire's a genius with this kind of thing. She's got about a million different bank accounts. Um, so this is, yeah, about bank accounts, basically. Your current bank account, how long have you been with that for? I know that I was with Barclays, I think, since I was like 16. And I never thought about changing it because why would you? And then I read this email and my friend Claire told me all about it. Some banks give you incentives to join them. They give you free money. Literally, money for nothing. You don't have to do anything apart from switch your bank account. And it's so simple. I was talking to a friend about it the other day. I'm always going on about changing your bank account to my friend saying, oh, you get free money. And she thought it was going to be a massive effort. And I've been telling her that, no, it's really simple. You just like 10 minutes, sit down on the computer, fill out a form what have you and then it just it just changes it but even though I've been talking to her about this for ages I've been mentioning it to her and then the other day she said oh yeah but I can't bother changing all of my all of my direct debits over and all that I was like oh my god did I not mention it literally does all that for you you don't have to do anything yourself there's this thing called the switch guarantee and if you just click through it um 
probably more to the newest website. I'm pretty sure that you can just go to the actual bank's websites and do it as well. Fill out a form, takes like 10 minutes, and it swaps everything for you. And there isn't a time either when you're, you've got no bank account. It will send you a card. I changed mine last week again I've done it about four or five times now I think I've been around all of the banks that I can possibly get an incentive from I've literally <laughs> probably made about I've probably made about 400 pound or something free just free money I keep saying literally free money but it is it's completely free money and um, for a tiny tiny bit of effort and yes you've got to change your bank you get a new banker card you've got to think you've got to remember your pin but you can, this is another thing, you can actually get the pin to be kept the same. But I haven't done that on every single time and I don't know why. It's such a simple thing. I'm pretty sure you just ask them to keep the same pin. But I haven't done that. I just keep loading a new pin. I don't know why. It would take two minutes probably, but never mind. Yes, you've got to do that. But they'll send you, they'll send you a bank card. So I swapped mine last week. They opened up the account, they, they tell you a date that they're going to switch it and you can actually like nominate a day as well that you want it to switch. They'll send you your card and your PIN number, everything you need ready for that day. So on that day, it just swaps over, just like that. You do nothing. You take one bank card with you one day and then the next day you put your new bank card in, in your purse and then you spend on that. So simple. And all of your direct debits get changed for you. Your work, everything get notified of where to send your money or where to take your money out of. All for you. You do nothing. Do it. <laughs> so there's quite a few, if you go to the Martin Lewis website, there's quite a few, um, he'll always update it with new bank accounts and which ones are, are giving you the best like free money. There are little terms and conditions so make sure that you read them. For example, there'll be a £10 charge for one bank account if, unless you pay over a £1,000 in, into each month. So as long as you've got a wage over a £1,000 or you're putting that much money into it, because even you don't even have to, if you've got another account with other, other money in and that account tells you you have to pay over, into, a, into the bank account over a £1,000, you could actually, if you've only got £600 a month, you could put some money from another account into that and then take it out again and you've still actually put in thousand pound a month even though it's not stayed there so yeah there's th there's ways to get this is how my friend Claire literally has so many different ones and she just sets up standing orders and stuff to like make them all get the best out of all of them so yeah if you've not thought about changing your bank if you didn't know this existed if you thought it would be complicated get yourself onto that website it won't take you long and it's free money I know that you have to consider your credit rating so obviously if you're Saving for a mortgage, you're, you, you know, you're going to get some sort of credit for something. Obviously, that will affect your credit score, so you do have to bear that in mind if you are. But at the moment, I'm not, so I'm just swapping and changing my bank as I please. <laughs> Another little tip to do with banking is if you do have some savings, pay attention to where you put those savings. Interest rates are changing all the time. If you just have your money in your current account, you're getting no interest on that money. You can have your money somewhere else, even if it's just a couple of thousand, in another bank account that earns you interest. It's so worth it. You, Your money's just sitting there. You may as well get a little bit of interest, even if it's just 20 pound for a year, something. It's better to get that than get nothing. It's free money again. <laughs> There's nothing to, you know, there's no question about it. Again, it doesn't take long. Um, again, you can go to the Martin Lewis website and he'll show you the best saving, savings accounts that are around at the moment. Um, again, there's different terms and conditions to those. There's ones where you can access you, there's, there's ICES where you can access your money um, anytime you want. There's fixed ICES where you can you have to kind of lock your money away. Those, you do get higher interest, but you do have to lock your money away. You have to know that you're not going to need that money um, in the next few years or what have you. But there's so many different ones, and I know it can be a little bit like, oh my God, which one do I use? Um, it was only a couple of days ago. This is why it's all fresh in my mind right now, and I wanted to share it all with you. Because the other day, I was trying to play around with mine and put them in, because the, the one that I had my savings in, the interest rate had gone right down. It was good at the beginning and then it had gone right down. It was just like, why am I keeping it in there? And 
literally two minutes on the Martin Lewis website, probably longer than two minutes, a few minutes on the Martin Lewis website and he listed the top savings accounts that you did have easy access to because I wanted to be able to have that just in case I needed the money and I swapped it just like that done and obviously in a year I'll check again because they always notify you as well they'll always email you to tell you that your interest rate is going down and sometimes it can go up so that's always good as well I've actually recently opened a help to buy ISA as well. Even though I don't know for sure whether I'm thinking of buying my own house, um, it's just the interest rates in it, rate in it is good anyway, so you might as well. So if you, you've got some money to put somewhere, you may as well open one of those as well. Um, you put about, some, I actually won't go over the figures because I can't remember what they are. You put a certain amount in one month and then you, I think you can put in 200 or 300 pound a month um, thereafter to there's a maximum amount and basically the government will give you money when you apply to get a house um and it'll just help towards your mortgage if you're ever thinking about getting a mortgage you may as well go down that route if you're a first time buyer i don't know whether this is something that you've heard a lot about anyway but car insurance never let your car insurance auto renew it's it's ridiculous they charge you a ridiculous amount of money the second that you Go for your car insurance, get a deal for the year, and then if you don't find another company or co do some comparisons with how much they're charging, they'll just auto renew it. I let mine do it by accident a couple of years ago. Um, I kind of didn't, yeah, I knew it was coming up and I thought I had more time than I did, and it auto renewed. It sent me the letter in the post to say, or, or the email to say, you've just paid like £600 for your car insurance, and I panicked because I am I usually do go onto the comparison sites and make sure I'm getting the best deal but it was okay I phoned them up straight away panicking and you get a 14 day cooling down period so if that ever happens to you don't panic you can get out of it within the 14 days as long as you notice that's gone out of your bank account I think that's what happened actually I literally checked my bank account it had gone and I was like why has £600 been taken out? I ended up paying about £300 for my car insurance instead. Again, go to the Martin Lewis website. He has um, a little order of the way that you should check the comparison sites. I don't know, I don't, still don't really understand why you have to check them in a certain order, but I don't really know why. I really don't know why. Um, but he has a list of the order you check them in and if you tell your yeah and if you find a better deal you don't necessarily have to change it you can always ring your current provider of car insurance and tell them you've seen a better deal can you can you match it and yeah you can kind of negotiate with them so it's always worth phoning them up and trying to negotiate as well better deals um so yeah that's always a very stressful day they're doing your car insurance it is a bit of a nightmare i don't like doing it because yes it's simple but it's also just stressful and it does take hours to just sit there it takes me a long time anyway it does stress me out a bit that's everything I can think of for now I think um so yeah let me know if any of these tips have helped you if they're things that you haven't really heard of before um or it's encouraged you to kind of pay a little bit more attention to these kind of things and if you've got any other ideas as well any other tips that I might not know about please let me know um, in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. If you did stick it out this whole way of me just going on and on about finances and stuff. Um, if you did find this interesting, please let me know. <laughs> if you found it really, really boring, let me know that as well if it was a complete waste of time. See you all next time.